Okay, so this is the video that I have been waiting for. And um, I got back from my doctor a couple hours ago. And uh, as you can tell, I've got some awesome news. I mean, awesome. I'm gonna try not to cry during this video. I promised myself I would not cry. I've been doing nothing but crying since I got back from my doctor, so I'm gonna try not to, but I can't promise anything. Okay, so let me put on my glasses because I wanna be damn sure I get these numbers right for you guys. And for my records. <laughs> okay, so um, the first thing that I wanna share is that um, one month ago, I've been going to my doctor steadily once a month to get my blood work done to find out what's going on inside my body and what's healed and what hasn't healed. And um, last month I weighed in at 197 pounds and Monday I weighed in at 182 pounds. So I've lost, I lost 15 pounds last month. And uh, I, I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I knew I had lost at least 10 because my pants started like falling off my butt again. Um, my BMI, my body mass index came back as fair. And I'm, I'm really happy. <laughs> really happy about that because when I first went in there, um, my body mass index was unacceptable according to my doctor. He said it was off the charts and um, I was actually classified as morbidly obese and wow, did those words ever hit home? I was like, morbidly obese? That's like for really big people. And he goes, you are a really big person. He goes, you're 300 pounds. That's morbidly obese for, you know, a five foot five frame. So I don't know what what planet I was living on, but you know, I just, you know, that's like for other, that happens to other people, not to me, right? So, um, so a fair uh, body mass index, I am really happy with. And he was actually really happy. Um, I don't own a scale. I feel that it is um, counterproductive for me because sometimes you get on a scale and your weight fluctuates up, you know, water weight, whatever, and then it fluctuates down and then, you know, sometimes you stay the same and that could be very, um, very, uh, very discouraging when you're trying to lose weight. So I, I gave my scale away to Goodwill at the beginning of all this and I promised myself that I when I went to the doctor I was either going to be disappointed or or thrilled to death with him one of the two so um, I just found out um, you know just found out what my my weight was so I'm pretty happy okay so um, my blood sugar last time was 109 um, you know where they prick you just to check your blood sugar um, he wanted me at a goal of 100 and I tested at 89. So I am very thrilled about that. Um, my, let me see, my A1C for all you diabetics out there, you know what an A1C is. Um, I had mine tested and last time it was 7.1 which means I was a full-blown diabetic. And when I tested this month, it was 5.9, which means that I am borderline diabetic now. I'm almost okay to be not classified as a diabetic. I just, I do not want to be classified as that. So that I think was my biggest <laughs> I just couldn't even believe that I, I got those numbers. Um, my total cholesterol was 180, I'm sorry, 218, and he wanted me under 200, and I tested this time at 180. Um, my triglycerides were 281. 
Um, he wanted me under 150. I came in at 149. I'll take one. That's fine. Um, my HDL cholesterol, which is my good cholesterol, um, he wanted me at over 50. Um, last time I tested at 32. This time I tested at 52. My LDL cholesterol, which is my bad cholesterol, um, I tested at 130. He said that my goal was to stay at 130, but I tested this time at 122. Um, I, I then had my, um, my blood pressure checked, and um, I know there's a lot of you out there who believe that blood pressure is just the pressure of your blood, um, but actually uh, blood pressure is more than that. Blood pressure, actually the, the number on top lets you know how your adrenals are doing because the adrenals sit on top, and the number on the bottom lets you know how your kidneys are doing because the kidneys sit down at the bottom. So my doc, the one I'm um, following and listening to his recommendations, he says that um, like perfect textbook blood pressure would be 120 for your adrenals um, and 60 for your kidneys. So when I tested, um, my blood pressure was 116 over 79, which for most doctors that's like awesome, but not for mine. Um, 116, I need to bring my adrenals up to 120, so my adrenals are still suffering a little bit, and, you know, I'm great with that, because I was actually down at 112. So I've bought it up, um, four numbers, so I should be able to get it up to 120. And, but my kidneys are at 79, and, um, I need to bring it down to 60. So my kidneys are still suffering, and I know that my kidneys are still suffering. I can feel the pain on my left side. I can feel the pain down my leg. But you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Because if I could go this far with these numbers, um, I know that they can only get better. And... If I've already, you know, I've already got my irritable bowel syndrome under control, I've been able to digest my food, you know, I'm, I'm assimilating my nutrients better in my intestines, you know, my pain is going away. Everything has gotten so much better. I know, I know that in a few more months, this can only, these numbers can only get better. Um, now, I usually see him every month, but because my numbers have gotten so good, um, I don't have to see him for another three months. So I don't have to see him back till August. And I'm hoping by August I'll have lost a lot more weight. Um, I want to try to get down. Um, all through my teenage years, I always weighed 143. So um, uh, that will leave me like 45 more pounds um, to lose to get to my goal weight. Um, and I was always happy with that number. You know, I was always very comfortable. I think it put me like in a size seven or eight pants. And I was I was really good with that weight. I wasn't like overly thin where everything was just sticking out. But I, you know, I, I didn't have any fat on my body either. So, you know, it that was a good number for me. And uh, And basically it's just getting my kidneys back in order which I will be doing a video on how to love your kidneys because man, I have had to love my kidneys like nobody loves their kidneys because um, I was actually passing protein uh, out of my blood and um, from my kidneys into my blood and um, um, I was about as close to dialysis as um, you could think and, and renal failure and um, actually I wish I would have started these videos a lot sooner because um, when you're when you're having renal failure, your hands get very swollen and your 
feet get very swollen and um, your face has a tendency to get very swollen and um, and if, if you could have seen my face um, I mean I'm surprised that the minute I walked into the hospital the doctor didn't go renal failure because my face was so swollen um, that it I mean all of this was swollen um, I literally had lines where I I mean I was just it was just an unbelievably swollen um, because it was so bad and now uh, the swelling has started to go down and I'm really thrilled with that all right <sighs> I hope you guys are happy I hope you guys are healthy because obviously the numbers say I am so um, one of the best things that has come out of all this is that I get to start working out again. Um, I hadn't been able to work out for a really long time because of the pain and because of the kidneys and this and that. And um, the numbers have actually gotten good enough where um, I, starting Monday, um, I'm going to take the weekend off and then starting Monday, I am going to start working out. And I will share that with you because there are a few people, I know a lot of people sit there and go, you know, I can't afford working out, but I'm going to show you that you can because there's a few people online that have some great workout programs and I used to work out with them and I'm going back to work with them and I'm going to share them with you guys. All right, so next time, love each other, be good to each other and stay happy and stay healthy. Bye-bye.